Hello there, yes. Well, it's Monday. It's getting cooler. But I still have the week off. Hooray. Reading beckons. For me job, you know. Anyway, yes. Um, The October Declaration. Alison Pearson in the Telegraph today, jumping up and down because she's got lots of people to sign her October Declaration, which is um, it's a declaration that's out this month, which is October. It's a good job it's not the Russian calendar, otherwise they'd have to rename it. Anyway, yes, um, it's designed um, in a typical Telegraph fashion to um, make sure that people are on the right side of history, according to Alison anyway, or the right side of civilization, I suppose it would be. And um, it's fine as far as it goes in terms of saying um, it's dreadful what happened in Israel. Yes, it was. However, of course, this being Alison Pearson and this being the Daily Telegraph, you can't have it stopping there. It merely goes on. So um, it has a lot of very distasteful things in it, actually mentioning Einsatzgruppen at one point, which is a little bit stiff, really. But what it's designed to do, of course, is make sure that you keep your mouth shut because they know best, effectively, is it. And magically, um, we'll make um, Jewish people in the UK safer, feel safer, that is, um, by having a real go at anybody who's got a dissenting voice. Because there's nothing makes people feel safer than the idea that the other side is being clamped down upon. Because they never react badly. Yes. Anyway, it's fine as far as it goes. Oh, I do condemn her mass, by the way, just to get that one out of the way, just in case anybody that's curious about it, because it seems that if you, you know, suggest that maybe killing and displacing vast numbers of people is a bad idea, you're a friend of terrorists. Hmm, maybe not. But, um... I'm sort of reminded of historical parallels, because if you get vast numbers of people out on the streets, as you did this weekend, basically an awful lot of them calling for a reasonable solution to um, a nasty conflict, um, they might actually be right, because Alison Pearson and her mates, and the Daily Telegraph and their mates, of course, told us unequivocally back in the early 2000s that we really had to invade various countries because of all the bad things that would happen if we didn't. And we all know that that made everybody feel a lot, lot safer. Hmm. Maybe not. Anyway, do have a lovely Monday. I feel like a shopping trip today. Mm, Waitrose beckons. Oh, I'm so middle class. Am I? No. No, I just like their products. I